Well, it's cooled down some, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use my new rest that I built the other day. I made a video on it. Some of you watched it. Uh, this rest is made for going inside a lampshade um, to help me hollow it out. So I'm gonna put this log, which is a poplar log, on my lathe and see if I can successfully turn a uh, lampshade. They're not always successful, so this may not work. But the main part of this video is to, is to show whether this rest that I made is going to work. Um, now this, this log is right at the max of what I can put on my lathe. I got eight inches between the, the center line and the bed. And this is 15 inches. Um, except I got a hump here. I'm going to have to take a chainsaw and cut that off. And I'll, I'll try to get this on. It's right at the max of what my lathe will take. So let me try cutting that hump off. Okay, that's very close. I don't know if it'll go on. We'll, we'll give it a try. I may have to trim some more.
this rest setup that I have here extends my rest out and and it's good because otherwise I couldn't reach out there but the problem is it's got quite a bit of bounce to it so it gets a little tough gotta go kind of slow see it bounces like that Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, now we're trying the new rest. See how that works. Well, it seems to be working very well so far. I gotta take this handle off though, it's in my way. Part of the problem is when I have this tailstock on here, which I have to have, then it limits me with, with the bottom part of my tool rest. And, and this is a little long to get started. But once I get in there a ways, um, the length is going to work for me good and it seems to be more solid than the other rest i had so i think it's going to work out pretty good All right, I think I know what I need to do. I need to make another rest just like this, but shorter so I can use it sooner because this is working out really well. And I'd like to be able to use it back in here because see, I'm, I'm close here and I can get this where I want it close to rather than a curve. Um, so, so I'd like to make another one, but maybe make it about three inches shorter than this one. Between the two, I'd be able to get pretty much anything I need. And for 10 bucks, why not? Got about another two inches. It's working very well. And I think what I'll be able to do is keep this tail stock on here right to the finish. And that'll help me a lot if I can do that because usually when I take it off, then, then I risk this starting to wobble on me. So the fact that I can sneak this straight back in and leave that tail stock and go all the way back to where I wanna be, get it down to the thickness I want it to be, and then just part it off leave the tailstock right in there. This might open up a whole new ball game for me as far as making these shades. Oh yeah, we got her.
Okay, so here's the lampshade. Um, I'm not very happy with it. It has no transparency. Um, so I'm probably going to discard this one. Um, it doesn't meet my standards. I mean... Here's a shade out of the same exact log, and look at the transparency on that. Um, this is a cool shade. I also have this shade, which came out of the same log. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, why this shade has no transparency. So the whole idea of this exercise wasn't as much to make a lampshade because I'm disappointed in that one. Um, but it was to check out the rest that I made for doing lampshades. And that was a complete success. I don't think I would change a single thing that I did with it other than I will make another one that's about four inches shorter so I can start using it sooner. Um, I've had, I have adjustable rests that you can slide it in and out and I'm never happy with them. They move too much, they spin. So I want a fixed hard rest. And so I'll just, for $10, I'll just make another one that's, that's shorter. But overall, it was, a, it was a big success. I'm very happy with the rest. And that was the whole main thing about doing this, is to find out if that rest works. Um, and it did. So I'm happy about that. Thanks.